Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found a cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. Debt, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. This was his first mistake. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. So Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look grooey. So Llama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced and jiggled and tangled. He cha-cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. And rip. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Lama found the black hole. Dat, said Lama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do, but Lama was a Lama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. Lama read books. He ran a complex experiment. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. Debt, said Lama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Lama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't notice. Thursday, Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, the llama flew too. I am llama! The black hole swallowed everything up, every single thing left in the world, everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. I am Lama. Saturday. On Saturday, a 
on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before, even Lama. I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Lama found something wonderful. Pie. Piles of pie. More pie than any Lama should eat, ever eat. That, said Lama. The end. Yay! All right. Our last book is called A Couch for Lama, and it was written by Leah Gilbert. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was a perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, hiding and seeking. They had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Whee! Oops! Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. That one was too big, too small. This one was just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. But on the way home, something went wrong. What happened? Yeah, the couch broke free and fell off the car. Llama found a couch and he sniffed it. Llama breathed, ah, hello to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Lama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Lama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than the dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just won't budge. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Lama decided just to ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. But this got very, very boring. So the Lama snuck up and pounced, and bounced and he bounced, and whirled, and twirled, and jumped, and bumped. down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, poofy cushions. He actually finally completely loved the couch. And the Lago family found their couch and also a llama. Specifically a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, Lama, we'll be back. Oh, he got sad because they took his couch away. What a surprise, a couch just for a Lama. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But Lama was the happiest of all. And yay! All right, friends, are you ready for our craft? Let's go! 
Hey guys, so for this craft we're going to be making a clothespin llama and what you're going to need is this llama template. I will put the link in the description like I always do to the Google Drive folder where all the templates are from this um, craft story time and previous craft story times as well. So I'll put that in there again. Um, you'll need two clothespins, glue stick, scissors, crayons or markers or color pencils or whatever you're choosing to color with if you want to do watercolors you sure can just make sure you print on cardstock not on regular paper because otherwise the um watercolors will bleed through the paper and tear it um, and also i'm going to use some pom-poms to help decorate my llama but you could use other embellishments too you know um you could use pom-poms, you could use sequins, you could use rhinestones, you could use whatever you have on hand to decorate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to color our llama. And if you guys want a double-sided llama, a llama that you can see that it's colored and decorated on both sides, then you want to color the back side, the front side, and then the back side so that you know that it's you know colored what you can do is you can color one side and then cut it out and then flip it over and color the other side i'm just gonna be looking at it and kind of eyeballing where it is on the other side and coloring it as well um so we're gonna do that first so i'm gonna speed through this because again it takes a little bit so um i don't want you to get bored looking at me coloring um in case you're not doing it at the moment so I'm going to speed through it. If you need to pause, go ahead and then press play when you're ready to move on to the next step. So let's get to coloring. I'm all done coloring I colored both sides I wasn't too concerned about lines because I will be cutting them out I was more concerned that my um my crayon color was more even if I you know made wider strokes than if I made shorter strokes so I was kind of more concerned that the color looked even than if I was out of the lines because at the end of the day I'm going to cut it and so it won't matter if I'm a little out of the line I flipped it and was kind of turning it up so that I could see the shadow of the line behind it and colored it accordingly the saddle but then I just remembered this side of the saddle will be glued on to this side of the body so it won't be seen on this side um, so I did color a saddle in on this side so that the reverse will also have a saddle and of course I looked where the head was and colored that in tail ears and so now I'm going to cut it out you don't have to color this side if you don't want to if you just wanted to you know have and be seen on one side that's totally okay i like mine to be able to be seen by both sides which is why i did it that way but you don't have to do that all right friends so now we're going to go ahead and cut out our llama pieces Okie dokie, there we go. So we should have our ears. My ear needs a little color over here. Okay, so we have our ears, our tail, our head, our body, and our um, saddle. These will be the legs. So let's go ahead and color these legs. I'll just color them brown since my, my llama's brown. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you guys, your llama doesn't have to be brown. I know the majority or you know the most well-known llamas i guess are white but they can be brown you know the loot llama <laughs> um on fortnite is purple so you could make it a loot llama if you wanted to um it depends on what you want to do you can color it whatever color you want and decorate it however you like um remember mine is just an example of what it could look like but 
obviously the last say is yours. You get to decide what it will actually look like. And in my experience, you guys are super creative and can always think of very cool ways of decorating and making your llama look super cool. So I know that you guys will know what to do with your llama because you guys are super creative. So let's go ahead and finish coloring my little my little legs. All right. And remember guys, our craft story time uploads every Saturday at 2 p.m. So every Saturday we come up with um, something new to do and work on together. But um, I should let you guys know that the month of December is um, our break for programming. So in December, we will not be having any story times, um, any new story times being uploaded for the month of December while we get ready to plan for uh, the winter programming for you guys. So just an FYI um, to any of you guys that know people who watch the videos or you watch them the, yourselves, um, we will not be having any new programming in terms of videos for the month of December. We will um, start again the first full week of January, which I believe is um, January 7th or 8th, something like that. Um, so that's when we'll start back up. So we will miss you guys, but we'll hope to see you very soon. All right, my friends. So now that we have our little legs colored, we're going to glue our pieces together. And um, the first thing I'm gonna glue is my saddle onto this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my saddle and put some glue on the back. All right, and then I'm going to glue that on. See, and that's why I realized that I colored the other side, but it's not visible when I stick it down like this. So I remembered and drew a saddle on the other side instead. All right, now we have our llama head, which we are going to put some glue on there. Oh, you know what? I put way too much glue. I only needed glue on the bottom. I don't know what I was thinking about. Let me wipe this off. All right, guys, I tried to wipe it off as best as possible. I got distracted. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's just the tip, just the bottom of the neck that we need glue on. And we're going to attach that. And depending on how, which way you want your llama to look, you can glue it on this side or you can flip the head and glue it on this side. It's whichever side you guys want it to look. All right, so next we are going to glue its tail. And again, we just want a little bit on the tip. Just like so. Then we're going to glue that on. Like that. Okay, and next we have its ears. This one's going to be a little more tricky because the ears are very tiny. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the tip. Right there. Oop. Not getting enough of it on there. Make sure I get enough glue on that ear so it doesn't fall off. There we go. There's one ear. And then going to do the other ear. Get a little chunk of glue on there so it sticks on there. And then we'll do our other ear. There we go. So there's the ears on. Okay. Next, we are going to draw and embellish our little llama. What I'm going to do is I am going to glue on some little pom-poms onto its saddle to make it look cute. 
and I'm going to put the glue directly on the pom-pom not on the paper otherwise the pom-pom will not stick so I need to have a nice good layer of glue on there and then I'll stick that on there So now that those are on there, I'm going to decorate my llama and I think I'm going to use a marker or sharpie to um, color on its face, to dry its face on because if I try and use crayon on top of crayon, that's not going to work very well, usually. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a marker. I'm going to do a sharpie. So I'm going to do its eyes. I'm going to do its little nose. And then I'm going to do its smile. There we go. And then I am going to decorate its um, neck with like a little, almost like a, I forget what it's called, like a, It's a little thing that goes on its mouth. I forget what it's called. And so I'm going to draw that on there. And then I'm going to draw like a little um, decorations on his neck. Some llamas have little. They're very decorated. So I'm going to have some decorations hanging off of him. Make him look cute. And then I'm going to have little, almost they look like pom-poms. They're not really pom-poms, but I'm going to make them look like pom-poms. And I'm going to have them hang off of this little ribbon type decoration. And then I'll grab a different color. Then I'll have yellow or gold colored. Put that on there. And you can also use markers for this one if it looks like the, you know, the crayon's not drawing very well on there. You can definitely use markers instead. So there we go. There's a little decoration, and then I'm going to decorate its saddle. I'm going to do a little cloud-like decorations on its saddle. There we go. Alrighty. So, now what I'm going to do is put on its legs. And you also need to remember to do that side. I'm not going to decorate it on that side. I'm just going to draw its eye, the nose, and its mouth. And that's it. I won't decorate it on this side. Um, but I will decorate it on this side. So at least you can see it's a llama on this side. But it's well decorated on this side. If you guys want, you can definitely decorate it. I do want to actually draw its little thing over here. Even if I don't decorate it, I do want to draw it just so it kind of makes it look nice. And then I'll do the little thing over here that decorates it. Just to kind of make it look nice and tie in with that saddle color. Just do it this way. There we go. So at least it ties in with the saddle this way, even if there's nothing else on it. Um, and let's see, I don't want to do pom poms again because it'll be hard to glue pom poms on this side and this side, but I will do the little saddle decoration on this side. I think that is doable. So let's go ahead and decorate. 
And then let's go ahead with this other pink color. There we go. So now it's not so plain Jane. At least it has a little bit of decoration there. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the legs on. I'm going to clip those on. Like so. And clip the other leg on. Like so. And that's how your um, llama will look. This is how it will look on the other side if you choose to not decorate that side as much. Um, and then let's see if I could get a, if I could get it to stand up so you can see what it will look like standing up. It looks so cute when it's um, standing up. So let me see if I can get a shot of it standing up. All right, guys. So that is what our llama looks like standing up. It is super, super cute. I really hope you enjoyed this craft. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next week. Bye!